All right. There we go. turn the mid over. Usually when I come around to the front bumper I'll turn the mid over for the, where the other soap is, the fresh soap. All right and then you know I can put my hand in there just to get in the grill area really good. Okay just get in there. This isn't bad, so get the lower part of the bumper. I found a branch, a little stick. It's from the tumbleweeds, the desert here. You know, we get the winds and the tumbleweeds. So, do the best we can to avoid them, but sometimes they jump out in front of you, so it happens. All right, so just getting down. That. And if you got a lot of bugs on here, um, you'll probably have to hit it a couple times to get the bugs off. side of course done the same way you know but I'll still set it up yeah yeah alrighty let's see Got the fender earlier, so I'm not gonna do much of that.
All right. Move to the back area. Very simple. Just washing. Like I said, if it's an SUV, um, do the back glass, the whole back hatch area, do that last. Um, you'll probably have to do that a couple times, like do a little bit, rinse it, and do it. You know, I just, you know, I like to use a lot of water so I'm not scratching, scratching the paint, you know. not too dirty I'll go you know down by the exhaust um, but if it's pretty dirty and exhaust I'll use the other mitt to wipe off the exhaust pipe so and then just get in right there all right so that's it for that here okay wheels and then the lower area all right so we're just gonna get it wet again If you watch my video about cleaning the wheels, um, same thing, you can spray uh, uh, purple power, castrol degreaser, stuff like that. You know, it's better if the, if the tire is dry, it's more effective. Uh, but if it's wet, that's why you just spray it. Don't let it sit too long, especially on the wheels. You don't want to clean your wheel too long. Okay? And then you can scrub it. Okay. So, boom, just like that. Of course, make sure it's wet. Okay. Alright. This is pretty much what I always use. I just use soap. Soap in the mitt on the wheels. Um, if the wheels are dirty, spray some degreaser but you might want to just try soap first car wash soap okay try that first if that doesn't work then you can use the mitt I mean you know use the mitt but you could use like the scotch spray 
Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get the lower areas now. A lot of times they're usually dirtier. And then I'll get the wheel well. Okay. Like that. And then I run along. Alright. So I'll move to the front. Keeping the car wet. I'll rinse out the wheel well. And then where the shock or the strut is, I'll rinse that out. Like I said, if the if you know you have a chrome tip for the muffler for the exhaust, um, you can do that with this mitt too. Wipe that down. Of course, you know, if they're real dirty, rinse them first, you know, rinse them off the best you can. Sometimes if they're real dirty, I'll just use my hand. I'll loosen up the dirt. Okay, wipe it out and then I'll rinse it before I use the wash mitt and the soap. All right. Yeah. See, so that's about it there. So now I'm gonna move to the front here. Okay, still keeping it wet. Still rinsing it. So I'm gonna do the lower area and then the front wheel. Okay. All right, set it up. All right. There we go. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do the lower leg rock areas. Okay, you can rinse out. Okay. Okay, plenty of water. Plenty of water. Okay. I'll just get the lower area here. Okay, and below. Okay. And like I said, if I had degreaser, if I needed it, I would scrub the tires, but I'm still gonna scrub them anyway. All right. Just use the mid on the wheels. Luckily, these wheels are nice and easy to clean. So, yeah, it goes quick. Okay, then I'll do the wheel well. Wipe that out. Again, if it's real dirty, rinse it out first, you know, before you put your mitt in there. Rinse it out the best you can. Rinsing out the strut and also the brakes. Get the sometimes if they're dirty, you'll see the brake dust just rinse right off there. So to get in there. All right, then we'll go to the other side here. So yeah, I'm gonna move to the other side, of course. Get those wheels. All right, same deal. But go ahead and record it anyway. All right. You could start in the front or back, whatever you want to do. I'm going to start in the back, work my way forward. Keeping the car wet. And, uh, if you're spraying degreaser, you know, be careful, you know, it doesn't blow in your face. Stuff's pretty nasty. 
Um, so yeah, you just gotta be careful there. It doesn't get in your eyes. So. Also in the trunk area, you know, the jam is there, you'll, sometimes you'll find leaves, uh, dirt and everything. So I'll go ahead and pick that out like I did under the hood and then I'll rinse that out really well. Um, of course with the trunk shut, you just kind of rinse it out and then when you're done, you can just get a towel and wipe it out. After a couple washes, you know, two or three washes, it'll be, it'll be good to go. And you won't have to, you just have to. Not even worry about it. I mean, unless, of course, you got a lot of trees in your neighborhood, you know, so. And after a week or two, you have needles all over the place, you know, so. But for the most of it, it shouldn't be too bad, though. You're doing it pretty often. Fairly often there. Okay, so same thing. So that's a purple power, okay? Where you get like a Castro degreaser or purple power, and I go 50 50, 50 chemical, 50 water, half and a half. And then uh, you just spray it. Once you spray it on it, especially when the tire's dry, you'll see it bubbling up, and then you just hit it. Like I said, don't let it sit too long, whether it's in the shade or sun, okay? Don't let it sit too long on there. You can rinse it out. I'll just squeeze it out. It's not too bad. Okay. Put this stuff away. All right. So now what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to go ahead and dry. So I'll grab my chamois. All right, let's 
get back a little bit. You can see. All right. Let's go ahead and dry it. I mean, it's it's easy to dry, of course. You know, with the chamois towels, I don't I don't use towels because it just I don't. I like the chamois. I could just dry it, rinse it real quick. You know, wring out the chamois. Um, so this is the one I got here. Okay, if you go online and look under synthetic chamois. That's where I got this one. Okay, it's a pretty good size. But you want to start you want to start drying the warmest spots where the sun's hitting. Okay, especially on the glass. Start drying that first. So yeah, I'll start, uh, like I said, I'll start drying the spots where the sun's hitting it. Okay, and the sun's on this today, it's about 70, so not too bad. You know, as it gets warmer, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna wash the car earlier, because it's been sitting all night, so it's cool. And then I'll wash it before the sun comes around, you know, around the house. Uh, but now it's 70, not too bad, but still you wanna dry the, Especially the glass, you know. Dry that where the sun's hitting it. Oh, we got a bad crack, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a bad crack in the windshield. That's just over time. You can see that crack, yeah. It was about a third of the way and now, yep. Cold water probably didn't help it, but you know. I mean, it's starting to crack. It's going to crack anyway, so. But anyway, so, yeah. So, I'll finish shaming it. Okay. Just kind of, I open it up like this. And just go around. Go around the sides. Like that. All right, I mean, so you get the idea, yeah. So I'll just go around, finish the other side. And then what I'll do is I'll show you, I just wipe out the jams. So I'll show you a little bit of that. All right, since uh, the one part was really windy, um, when I was talking about switching the bucket over, okay, so this is the one with the, the nicer mitt. Okay, that's the one I use for the um, cleaner spots. Okay, the upper body of the car area, okay? And then once once that one gets old, I switch it over and I use it this one. This is for wheels, the lower areas, the dirtier areas, okay? So it's getting kind of worn, but um, I just take care of it, keep it clean there as best I can. And then I got a tire brush, okay? Um, all right, let's see. So I showed the degreaser. Um, that's about it. So I was talking about the wheels um, on there. Um, so yeah, if they're if they're really dirty, 
um, I guess some of it you probably heard on there, but if they're really dirty, just go ahead and um, try it with soap first. You know, before you use a before you use a degreaser, I like to just use the soap and by hand. You know, try the, the car wash soap with the mitt. Um, like I said, then you could try to get off with your hand first, and then the soap. And if not, then you can spray a little degreaser on there. Um, of course, don't let it sit too long. Like I was saying, those are the, the Hyundai plastic covers, so they're okay. Um, let's see. So then, so that's as far as the buckets. Okay, and then I mean that's it. And what I do is I just store them right here. I have a spot under my workbench. Okay, and then I just I just store this stuff there. Okay, and then I mentioned about the degreaser. Um, again, that stuff, you know, if it's windy or even if not, don't inhale that stuff. Okay, uh, let's see if I can find it here. All right. Oh, so that's the car wash soap. It's degreaser. Okay, 50-50. Uh, but yeah, just don't get that in your eyes or don't inhale that stuff, so just be careful. Pretty nasty. But that's, like I said, try just to soak first with the mitt. And this is my chamois, okay? I got an older one for an older car. Maybe the paint's messed up or something, you know? I'll use the older one. I mean, this is at least 15 years old, the older one, okay? Um, this one's only a couple years old, maybe. Um, like I said, synthetic, but uh, I just keep them in a plastic bag. I don't let them dry out. So I'll just put them in a plastic bag like that and then put them on the shelf. Yeah, so. All right. So, yeah, I already I finished drying it off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the jams. I mean, they're, they're easy to do, of course, but. All right, so, you know, of course they're wet since I just washed, so. I mean, these are clean. If they're dirty, it's gonna take a little more doing, of course. But basically, I'm just kind of drying them right now. Not much for dirt, okay? So I just get in there really good. I like to get in, I like to get in there tight, you know, and then the back side too, the door, get in there really well. Okay, this is just a, um, a towel, an old bath towel I use, so, yeah, so it's just going along here, wiping this, okay, and then through here, uh, okay, so, yeah, it's not really too greasy, it's not too bad. But the thing I do is, see now, I'll wipe back here, okay? And then what I do is I open the doors out, okay? So when you open the back door, you get to the jam better easily, okay? All right, so then I'll go back here like this, and then go down, I can get back in here, okay? Obviously, you just gotta watch the door, you know, make sure the blow shut or somebody doesn't shut it on you or whatever okay so I'll do that open the trunk doing it all right so I just go along you know wipe down in here same deal okay I'll go ahead and move to the 
I'll move to the back area, okay? I'll hit the gas cap, okay? The gas door, okay? You know, if it was really dirty, I probably would have washed it with the other mitt, the one I use for the wheels. I'd probably just kind of hit it with that mitt, but I don't need to. Okay, and I pop the trunk. So what I do is just go along. you go ahead and shut it when you shut it you'll probably see water dripping so you can use this tower or chamois but and then especially after you drive if you move the car you'll see water you know dripping catch it then as long as the towel is good shape you know I mean you want a decent towel even though it's an old one you want a nice towel to do that so you know then I just go to the other side hit the jams there the same way yeah so, yeah, so that's about it as far as the washing goes so all right yeah the winds picking up now so we just got done in time Alright, hey, thanks for watching and subscribing. Bye now.